So yesterday, in the city of London, they fell victim to a terror attack that claimed three lives and injured 40. The attacker was British-born, but ISIS is claiming responsibility for inspiring him. And of course, our hearts and prayers are with everyone dealing with this right now because our friends over in in London you know they've they've lived through these kinds of attacks before you know when they were not getting along with Ireland but it's never it's never like you never get used to it. No. 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 You know. Nor should you. No. Nor should you. No. And, uh, you know, while messages of support are pouring in for London from around the world, the uh, new guy's son, Junior, Junior yeah. <laughs> decided to forego sympathy and instead attack London's mayor, tweeting, You've got to be kidding me. Terror attacks are part of living in the big city, says London Mayor Sadiq Khan. Now, perhaps he needs, this young man needs to do a little more reading, or maybe read carefully, because not only is this a six-month-old quote, but the actual quote the mayor went on to say, uh, that because of the consistent threat of terror, Londoners must always be vigilant, prepared, and support the police. Yeah. That was the, that was the, in, yeah. in its entirety. What is he up to? What Whoa. is he, this kid? I don't know. This I think junior. he wanted to look What's like. What's his point? I think he wanted to look like he was a guy who was tough on terrorism and somehow they weren't. Not recognizing that the reality is that if you do, I mean, we're in New York City. If you live in a big city, these threats are real. And sometimes no matter what you do, you can't prevent every time. And the fact is that this guy, this guy Khan, in his article was calling for vigilance. He was calling for yeah. tougher policing. Yeah. He was calling to be tough against these things. So to me, it looked like an opportunity to seize a political talking point. And that's and not the time and he's for not, that. And make fake right, news. But that's not the time and for that. People just died. Right? Because he's supposed to be in charge of Donald Trump's business empire now. So he shouldn't game. be tweeting forget, anything at all. Don't forget he's a big game hunter. He likes to kill elephants. Well, this yeah, and, and well. Other, other animals. But I thought what was interesting was um, this was a British-born terrorist. Yeah. And so what does that say about Donald Trump's Muslim ban? Well, what about right? Brexit? That's and one Brexit. of the reasons that yeah. they're uh, getting out of the, the European Union is because of immigration and they're worried about refugees. Yeah. And now it's he a homegrown guy born. who's but this born is also, exactly. We have the same issue here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. also the problem with uh, Donald Trump himself and his Twitter habits. And mm -hmm. I think it's not a coincidence it's his son right now. The fact that you can have an immediate broadcast message in the click of a button mm -hmm. doesn't mean you should have an immediate broadcast the yeah. fact that there was no accuracy it was misleading mm -hmm. it was misinformed and no and he sympathy has, no 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 that's say, the most hey, glaring. this is really terrible that's a glaring you know, thing but he has 1.47 million followers the apple that's doesn't okay. fall far he can from have the as many followers as he wants he needs to do his bloody homework yeah. do your homework know what you're talking about <laughs> and then tweet or yeah. this, just or look don't stupid. tweet or don't tweet. don't tweet Wait, it's not God. his place keep your mouth shut anyway <laughs> house intelligence chair congressman Devin Nunez shocked a lot of people yesterday when he dropped a well a poop bombshell about information he said he had just received take a look on numerous occasions the intelligence community incidentally collected information about US citizens involved in the Trump transition details about US persons associated with the incoming administration details with little or no apparent foreign intelligence value were widely disseminated in intelligence community reporting. Third, I have confirmed that additional names of Trump transition team members were unmasked. And fourth and finally, I want to be clear, none of this surveillance was related to Russia or the investigation of Russian activities or of the Trump team. So we're going to be talking to the top Democrat on the Intelligence Committee, Congressman Adam Schiff, about this in a little bit. But a lot of people are asking why Nunez didn't share this info with his own committee yeah. before running to the media and to the president. Yeah, that's is this what is what what is going on here? You think? Well, didn't he say recently, maybe yesterday or last week mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. that? Um, that the president was not wiretap, that the president uh, Obama did not wiretap Trump. He said that, and he's a Republican, and he's supposed to be a Trump person. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to, I think, make up for that little faux pas and get back in the good graces of Donald Trump. So he ran to Donald Trump like a little toady and goes, you know, you got something here. You can now say you're vindicated. Yeah. The timeline here, though, is very alarming to me.
You have Donald Trump happened. coming out initially and saying that Obama tapped the phones. Then you have Trump transitioning to this wiretapping in quotes, like, oh, I'm talking about broad surveillance. I'm not talking about Obama tapping the phones. Now you have Nunez, who's a former member of Trump's transition team, coming out and providing some sort of, in his mind, validation for a broader surveillance mm -hmm. and bringing that information not his own committee, but directly to the guy whose former team he was a trans he was a member of trans that transition. Because team. he's not so objective, and right, it shouldn't but, be there. But, but what is this information? This information does not prove what Donald Trump said initially, but it does try or attempt to prove what he said secondarily. So my question is, Nunez, you're a former member of the transition team. Are you an interested in, in finding out if Russia compromised our election, or are you an ally still of Donald Trump in trying to prove his tweets that he initially? Well, that's out? what Adam Schiff that's is saying question. that he's yeah, well. a surrogate of the. Trump camp. Well, well it, maybe so, but so who, it, here's my question. Yeah. Who is this guy and does he know anything? Does he work with Comey? Does, what, d Nunes? Yeah. Oh. I mean, because why am I going to take your word for it? When the head of the FBI said, here's what the deal is. Right. And I know a lot of people saying, see, uh, Donald is being vindicated. He's not vindicated. He said, Barack Obama <laughs> tapped my phone was very clear about who tapped the phone. That's what he said. And he's a bad not, guy. And it did not happen. Did so not happen. you can't be vindicated because what you said initially, yeah. not what you said four or five days later, what you said initially was that Obama did it. So now we know that that's not true. We also know that because there are some people living in, in the Trump Tower who may or may not be Russian operatives, may or may not be uh, connected to stuff, uh, there might be a reason people were listening in. But no one was directly tapping you. So I say what I said the other day. And can, do, we yes. have, do we have well, time for me yeah, to say something? Ahead, so what's interesting is federal authorities, in order to get that FISA warrant, they have to not only demonstrate to a judge probable cause, but that a given phone line serves primarily to undermine U.S. interests. Well, That's it, how it, you it, get the thing. warrant. Yeah. One more thing. How One more that? thing. We have time. No, we don't. We got him because he's coming up. That's why they're trying. Right. Go ahead. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. One more thing. Do I it. said the other day that he's a liar, this guy, this Nunez, because mm -hmm. they asked him if he knew Roger Stone, and mm -hmm. he said no. Roger Stone was a political consultant in Washington since the 70s. You don't know who he is? Mm. He's, I'm sorry, you're a liar. You're a liar. And now we're gone. Yeah.